Well, um, first of all, you mentioned uh, the, um, the destruction of the towers last week. Well, um, of course, this was foretold um, 2,700 years ago by the prophet Isaiah. Uh, and that these things would unfold in conjunction with our observance of the high holy days and the return of the feminine principle, the return of balance to the earth. So in order for the new to be born, the new state of consciousness to be born, the old must come to its conclusion. And that's why Isaiah 30th chapter says, that in that day there shall be um, rivers and streams of waters against all the great mountains. The great mountains means great empires, great nations. In the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall. Well, these towers, of course, are symbolic of um, the mystery of Babylon itself. This is a very ancient mystery. The uh, the city of Cain, the city of the sons of darkness that uh, God, uh, you know, when we built the towers in Babylon in ancient times, God destroyed them. And now we're surprised to see that God has thrown them down again. But Isaiah says, in the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, well, this is the beginning of these judgments that will now uh, fall upon the entire institutions of the Western world. The economy is already collapsing. The world is going to war. The prophet Joel says, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war meaning draw near. Let them come up into the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Well, that's what God is doing. The valley of Jehoshaphat is not necessarily a place as much as it is an unfolding event that will take place all the way from Afghanistan and culminate in the judgments upon America itself. 